Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the newly available Lenovo ThinkPad P16S Gen 4. What a lot of people may or may not know is a lot of times the business class laptops are a lot more durable so they can take a lot more abuse than a typical consumer grade laptop that you would purchase at a place like Best Buy for example. So I have here a ThinkPad T14S, the, this is basically the last year model. This is a T14, this is a 14 inch, and this is probably my favorite laptop that I've had in a long time. Very sturdy, rock solid, matte black. You know, just uh, overall the fit and finish is very good. So I wanted a professional desktop replacement. So this is a mobile workstation. So this is a larger, heavier machine it's from the P series, which is their performance series. And they have a doorbuster deal going on right now where you can get one of these with sodium RAM that's upgradable. So you can go all the way up to 128 gigs of RAM if you want, and that is a pretty compelling option. And then the storage, you can go up to eight terabytes via M.2 SSD. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it opens up like so. There's the Lenovo ThinkPad. All right, so in here, pretty basic stuff. You have the AC adapter. This is going to be a 100 watt charger that uses USB-C. So you've got the, depending on where you are in the world, you have your power adapter for AC power outlet. And then the charger itself. So it comes in this, uh, this is new. It comes in this uh, paper, packaging here, but it is a 100 watt USB-C form factor. So pretty good, nice sleek. You can use that charger with a lot of other peripherals, including cell phones, the Nintendo Switch 2, etc. All right, and then in here, we have the laptop itself. Let's get that out of the way. So it comes in this kind of blanket-like bag. Thanks for choosing our products. The security seal here. So the T16S, let's go ahead and open it up here. They give you this little practical thing to protect the screen in shipping. You can see it is a matte screen. I really like that it is a matte screen. It's an IPS panel. You can get it with an OLED if you want. Personally, I don't like OLEDs on laptops because, because OLEDs have PWM flicker with the backlight. And I like to run my laptops with lower screen brightness to save on battery life. And the lower the brightness level, the more the flicker from an OLED will be pronounced and it can cause headaches and things like that. So for me, it's gotta be IPS. And thankfully this one's IPS. So this one is a 16 inch. So similar to the gaming laptops, this is not a gaming laptop, but similar to the gaming laptops, it has the full size keyboard. It has the trackpad. This is a Mylar Surface, which I am a big fan of because I'm someone that's been using ThinkPads for many years. So I prefer the Mylar as opposed to the glass touchpad. It does have the classic ThinkPad track point with the left right click and the scroll center click in the middle. So typically you would use it like that. This has the legendary ThinkPad keyboard. This is still, in my opinion, the best typing experience on a mobile device, hands down. Nothing else comes close. I know SteelSeries on MSI has some decent keyboards, but now the Lenovo ones are still better. And the benefit of that is if you're on a Legion gaming laptop, those are not as good as the ThinkPad keyboard, but they're almost as good. It's like one tier down from this, and then everything else is like one tier down from the Legions. So if you care about typing, if you use your computer for work, or if you use your laptop for work, the ThinkPad, these business class laptops are really good. So you can tell in this, so the CPU in here is the Ryzen AI Pro. 9 HX370, so that's a 12 core 24 thread with Zen 5 architecture. 
We have a power button with a fingerprint reader on there. Fully backlight keyboard is not RGB, which is what I want. I don't want an RGB keyboard. I like that it is all white with two brightness levels. And page up, page down, right there. Really sturdy hinges. This is not going to wobble. You can see. So with the kind of the lip that they put up here, with one finger, I can open it all the way flat, like that. And very sturdy hinges. Very soft, premium touch. I like that it is not a fingerprint magnet. It's not metal. So, I don't know. Maybe my priorities are quite different from most people, but I don't like metal aluminum laptops, especially if you drop them. They're going to get dented and stuff, potentially, and just look really bad. The plastic is a rubberized, thick plastic that isn't really going to... It's much easier to hide blemishes on a plastic style like this versus metal. So, dual Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, I believe 2.1 or 2.0, USB type A with power delivery, a three and a half inch combo jack. Smart card reader, if you get this for a, an office environment, typically it may or may not have a smart card reader. Micro SD. I believe, or maybe that's a SIM card, and then the USB Type-A, and then you have an RJ45 here, and then a Kensington lock. So pretty standard stuff on the back. There is the rear exhaust. That is a pretty wide exhaust. And you can see the underside has the fan. It looks like it is a single fan design. And that is pretty much it. We will be doing some other videos showcasing this laptop uh, I may show gaming I may plug it into a Thunderbolt docking station and use a discrete graphics card a desktop class graphics card with this laptop in future content so stay tuned for that once again that was a first look at the ThinkPad P16S Gen 4 featuring the AMD HX series processor so strix point thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one thanks